This is another interesting object, finding object. This was the technology of the time, something that was developed by a man who went by the name of Lan, Lan, I remember Lan, Lan is the last name. He started a company which involved instantaneous images. No, well, not so much instantaneous, but uh, you could uh, get a pretty quick image, photographic image, that is, hard copy snapshot directly from the camera. Give or take two or three minutes, sometimes four minutes. So he got it down to 60 seconds. Woo! That was a pretty heavy duty uh, process. So this, what I'm getting ready to show you is um, the peak of that technology. In so much as integrating the latest, latest of the I say electronic processes, still utilizing the photochemical, that is the, the output of a photochemical product. And uh, the name of this camera is the Polaroid Spectra. Hmm. Now, what you have to really look at, I don't know whether or not I'll be able to actually show it, is the way they sold this camera in terms of packaging. So this being the top of the line, the Onyx, O-N-Y-X, they went to extreme, look at that. Now, why did they do that? Who wouldn't want to offset a box? <laughs> How many offset boxes have you seen? Thank you. Okay, let's turn it back around again now and show you why they had to angle it that way. First of all, they had a state-of-the-art image on the cover, a holograph, a real holograph, because Polaroid somehow or another got the corner on that. So I'm going to try to show you this holograph. Okay, you can see part of the cameras. What they did basically was to get various layers to work in terms of the internals of the camera itself. So what this holograph is, is like a, it's like an exposed view of the camera without a shell took some real doing to actually get that. And then if you move it from side to side, you can see it's different layers of information, which means it's 3D, three dimensions. So I can literally go to the side and move part of the image off the back image or the front image. So this is an actual 3D shot. How they did that? True. They spent a lot of technology in this one here. And out of that came this object, state-of-the-art instant photography. This is a very delicate box. I have to always be very careful with it. But this is the way it came to me. There's a lady who lives around the corner who I see all of the time. And she said, I have this camera. It was given to me had it for quite a while. So, as you see, I'm being very, very careful with this. It's the last of a breed, especially the box. The box is the most important, the valuable as part of this system here. Because <laughs> they went through so much trouble. i got to put the camera down for a second.
out of that box comes a black case. No markings. Inside of that black case, you've got a little small push button to open it up. Apparently, you need two hands. Inside is this velvet. covering. And this is the other part that you see. Again, no markings. Inside of this, whoa, be careful with the camera, boy. Two hands, hold on. was laid out in front of me. In a, in a, what they call the smoked type of case. When you look close, you can see the all electronics that made this camera work. And then you had all the in, interesting controls in the back. You had FTM, whatever that means. You had the music control, you have a timer control, you have an autofocus control, you have a flash control, and you have an up and down switch on the right side, there's a remote that you can plug into, and apparently there's a charging, charging system, actually got to be cranked up, so I guess the battery, they have a, especially probably a NICAD battery inside somewhere, so, in order to take a photograph, you don't pop up anything. You used to have to pop up everything. This here is all self-contained. No pop-ups. You look through the viewfinder. You've got to do a pop-up. See what I know about this. Hey, how you work? Anyway, so... Inside, you got to read the book. Fortunately, this came with a book. The book is inside of. Oh, we got a bad little bolt here. You got to go back. Is the instruction book. Well, two hands again, right? Inside this envelope is the instruction book. Two year picture guarantee coupon book. In other words, you've messed up. You send your picture back, maybe send you another, whatever. We want to help you improve your photographic quality of your Polaroid spectrum. Pic pictures and thus assured satisfaction with our product. Therefore, we're here you to call us toll free. Okay, the first disclaimer. Polaroid Spectra coupons replacement. What about how you how do I operate the thing? This is what this this book this here is about replacement of film. All this for replacement of film. All replacement of film. I thought it was instruction. Ah, what are you? Okay, this is the receive an elegant wall display of your Onyx pictures free. Wow. That's a good incentive. I guess this is his destruction book. Come out of there. Cute. Two hand job. Wow. See the way it came out. You got to pinch both sides and then pull it up. Now, this is the instruction book. So the photograph is by Stephen Lahui. From Boston, Massachusetts. I guess they gave him the color. I guess, look at that digital print. Ah, ah, ah. Wow, 
I really, I really did you both stuff. Amazing. Hmm. And you shot it with a Polaroid. Huh? Welcome to the Polaroid Spectra System of Photography. Features. The camera advanced computer circuitry, the system control panel, Spectra film, the autofocus system. Open the camera, check the control switches, load the film. A guide to better pictures. You got the color, distance, background, composition. Okay, then you get the troubleshooting, lens care, picture care. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, it pops up in the back. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is the instruction book that says how to operate all this here. And basically what I'm trying to get to is that Polaroid spent all this time in terms of selling the, the packaging. Squish it back down. Squish back. You gotta squish back. And ignore what the future is all about in terms of technology that they were developing. But they had such a hold on to the instant market that they didn't realize that sooner or later that instant market will basically be flipping over into the digital instant market. So this was the precursor to what can happen and did happen to lack of insight in terms of innovations. Thank you.